It is definitely an unfortunate circumstance when you have a child who's eager to learn, they want to learn, and they just want somewhere to go, um, and they can't get a space. I can't wait for the day where programming is just like anything, you know, it's like taking an art class or a football class. Just going to a coding club is the norm, and I think that's, that's what I'm really excited for. There's a very high dropout rate in first year computer science. I think it's nearly double the average dropout rate. We have to do something different. We have to actually give joy. A dojo is a fun place for kids to learn about technology. It has to be fun. But you see this transformation. They're alive, they're excited, they're energised, they're playing around with stuff on their screen. They're talking to the other kids around them and asking them questions. And that's a journey that happens really quickly. Every dojo is run as a free and open source. Kids are not charged, parents are not charged. It's about organisations donating their space, their time, and persuading their staff to volunteer their time to actually teach the next generation. Being able to bring Salesforce on this year as a global partner of ours was just so impactful for the foundation and for the movement. It's actually the people in Salesforce that stun and amaze me. There is no other company like Salesforce in terms of growth, but also giving back. Everybody in the company needs to find that passionate thing that they're interested in and decide that's going to be my project and I'm going to drive that. Mine happens to be Coder Dojo. The Salesforce team just gets how important what we're doing is and are being incredibly supportive. Cyril just took it from there and ran with it. He started a dojo within Salesforce offices for their staff. They started busing in kids from a local youth centre in an underserved area. It's just grown from there to where, where we are today. It was children that don't have the opportunity to learn the code was really my target. So we're going to set up a dojo in Kenya. In Dublin, we're busing in children and providing them with the laptops because they don't have their own. San Francisco, Spain and Italy. Singapore's just gone live. Recently, we managed to get them a foundation grant of $200,000. When we got the grant from Salesforce, it allowed us to take on another uh, employee and shift focuses so we could actually focus more on developing high quality content. We also use the Salesforce product ourselves for customer relationship management, for engaging with our partners and engaging with our community. We can get all the information recorded in one place so that when I'm out and about traveling that I can remember that I've been contacted by a dojo in Mombasa and how is that going, how is that progressing. Using the Salesforce software makes my job a lot easier in terms of actually tracking and managing all these relationships around the world. A year ago we might have thought well it'd be nice to have 600 dojos by the end of 2016 now in early 2015, we already have 676. And the plan is to get them to 1,500 uh, dojos globally and 100,000 children a week. Our ultimate vision is that we live in a world where every child has the opportunity to learn how to code and be creative in a safe and social environment. Well, my name's Lexi and I'm seven. I'm 11. I'm Tiana and I'm 10 years old. I'm 11 years old. I'm nine years old. I've been going to Coda Dojo for I think this is only my fourth session. For about a month. Six months. It's so amazing that just people from all over the place can just come together and make something for free. It's not just boys, it's girls as well. It makes me feel very confident and I love doing it. This is going to help us get smart and we're going to get like better grades and skill and all. You'll be smarter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Any final words? What else? I'm beautiful. <laughs> that, that you are. When you teach someone the elemental basics of coding, it teaches them skill sets that they're going to use for the rest of their life. So even though you mightn't have them for that long, you've had an impact on your life, that's a great legacy. I really feel like we are actually developing this amazing super generation of kids who are just going to go on and do amazing things.